Hey YouTube people, right now we're going to take a look at the Lenovo AnyPen technology uh, and kind of compare it to standard capacitive options such as a capacitive stylus or just your finger in itself. So I, I kind of was interested in this because you know I, I love having uh, note taking capability on my devices. I really like active digitizers, but then again, I'm not an artist, so uh, I thought maybe using this as a note-taking device would be, you know, pretty decent. So let's take a look and see how well any pen stands up uh, to a capacitive stylus. Uh, first things first, uh, let's go ahead and write a sentence using any pen. So I'm using just a pencil here, straight up graphite number two pencil. Uh, the one thing I've noticed with any pen is you do need to uh, kind of dual the point. If the point is too thin, it's not going to register as well. So you don't want your pencil to be too sharp. So uh, once you've dueled your pencil sufficiently, you should be able to write pretty well. And it does work pretty good, as you'll see. So here we go. And you can see right off the, the bat, there's a problem. I keep touching the bottom of this, and there is no palm rejection with this device. So, uh, keep that in mind. So, let's try that again. The other thing you have to keep in mind with any pen is it doesn't realize that it doesn't treat it like an active digitizer. When you touch the screen with a pencil, it's like you're touching it with your finger, other than it's a little bit more accurate. So, let's try that again, and this time I'm going to take care not to touch the screen with my palm. So, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. So first thing that you need to realize is that my handwriting is absolutely atrocious in general. Uh, <laughs> so uh, don't put too much credence in what you're seeing on the screen. Uh, more look at how accurately is it registering what my hand's doing and the tip's doing on the screen. So there you go, there's some any pen. I'm now gonna try a capacitive stylus and see how well I do with that and kind of demonstrate how what you know what kind of gain you're gonna get with any pen versus just standard capacitive. So I'm trying to write the exact same as I was before and it's not helping me very much. Okay, so there's the capacitive stylus trying to write that small. And as you can see, the capacitive stylus is just, you know, even more, uh, you know, unreadable than you know, usually with the capacitive stylus, you're drawing big letters, you know, if you've seen people use it on an iPad or something. So really not comparable. The AnyPen does bring quite a bit to the table. Um, so let's exit the drawing and, and pull that up a little bit. So what I'm going to do now for you is go into another drawing, and I'm going to attempt to draw a picture using the any pen. Here we go. So this is my little comic character. So there you go. You know, you can try to draw. I'm by no means an artist, as you can obviously 
tell here, but uh, this will at least give you some sort of idea what you can expect from there's a some sort of bird or something like that. So <laughs> it is possible to draw on this thing. There's no pressure sensitivity, as I, I've mentioned. But, you know, in a pinch and in terms of actually registering when it's touching the screen, it's really good. You know, I had the first generation Dell Venue Pro stylus and that thing was pretty much crap and you know what revision 2 was better but i feel like other than pressure sensitivity this is actually better than that you know it's let me switch to a different pen here this is kind of the medium pen let me go even finer let's go to super thin and uh, i'm also going to exit the draw and scroll up and see if I see how fine we can actually draw with any pen text. So going back into the draw mode. Um, oh gee, I, I I wish I knew how to draw better so I could show this off. But uh, I don't know. Let's tr try to draw a face. And once again, this is not. I'm I'm not an artist. I kind of suck, but you can get a general idea of what you can expect from this device in terms of, we'll just turn that into a monkey because it is not a good looking human being at all. Maybe that's now Diddy Kong or something. So. Not too bad. As you can see, you know, if you're, let's go ahead and, and try to draw something with hair, you know, or a grassy field. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's really not bad. I, I, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, it, it does, a, it does a good job. It knows when the screen's being touched and when it's not. And that's more than I can say for the, the Dell stylus that, you know, Revision 3 is supposed to be pretty good. So I, I won't bag on the Dell. I'm not a Dell hater. I, I actually love a lot of Dell stuff. So, um, But any pen works great. I love it, uh, you know, for the price. And, you know, an active digitizer, yes, I would love to have an active digitizer on this device. But uh, it's not too bad. If you're just going to use it to take notes, it's a great perk for this little tablet. So anyways, this has been a overview of Lenovo AnyPen technology on their new Lenovo Yoga Tablet 2 with Windows, the 8-inch version, because it's the only one that has any pen. And I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope this helps you. If you want to try anything else out on this device or with any pen, uh, leave me a comment and I will do what I can. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the C Butters channel. And we'll see you later.